welcome to another episode of Chip Yells at Things About Things. Today we're going to be talking about when you stopped at a stoplight and you rev your engine, why the fuck would you do that? Why do motorcyclists have a tendency to rev their engines at stoplight, stop signs, wherever the fuck you want to stop in the middle of the goddamn road? I don't give a fuck. We're going to talk about it. I hear a lot of people that I know in my everyday life talk about this. They're like, I get, I get pulled up beside this fucking motorcyclist and, and he was rapping his engine and he was so loud and I couldn't hear my music and I said, yeah, 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 fuck you. Shut the fuck up, you whiny baby. You got four reasons why a motorcyclist is going to start revving the fuck out of their engine at a stop. Number four. It's all about being heard. People hear you before they see you. This is a known fact if you ride a motorcycle. So you want to make sure that people know you're there. So that way some motherfucker doesn't run the light and fucking hits you when you're trying to pull out. You want to be able to pop that fucking dank wheelie right off the line and not get T-boned by some cocksucker. Number three. Number three is equally as important, it's a safety thing. Whenever we are slowing down to a stop as a motorcyclist, you want to rev your engine as you're downshifting. It's called rev matching. You want the engine to speed up to match the RPMs of the wheels so that you don't fucking go Wah! off the bike. So every time you downshift, you just crank that throttle a little and you get a little taste, a little, a little woohoo of the throttle so that the engine could speed up and you could slow the fuck down properly without taxing your brakes. Number two is cause you want a little, you want to make sure that your bike is giving you that little snappy response. You want to make sure that whenever you come off the line, you got, you got your throttle still working. You know what I mean? You just want to tweak it just a little just to make sure that you're gonna get the fuel that you need to go. <laughs> and number one, and this is the most important one, remember this above all else, the reason, the number one reason that motorcyclists will rev their engine when they are stopped is because they like the way it fucking sounds. That's right. We like the way our bikes sound. You don't buy a fucking bike and go, ah, it sounds like a little nah, angry bumblebee. I don't think I want to ride. I don't think I want to ride that. No, you want a bike that when you turn it on, you immediately cream your fucking trousers. You want a bike that when you hear it start up, all you can think is, oh God, yeah. So we like the way it sounds. Is it unnecessary? Of course it's unnecessary, that's half the fun. Think of it this way, if you are engaging in the act of sexual intercourse with your partner and they're just laying there like a fucking dead fish, not making a sound, not moving, what are you going to think? You're going to think they're not enjoying themselves. You're going to think, I'm doing all the work, they're not having any fun. It's kind of the same with a motorcycle. You twist that throttle so you can hear your fucking engine scream. <laughs> you want to make sure that she or he, depending on your orientation and the nature of your bike, are having just as much fun as you are. You want your partner to make a little noise. <laughs> you want to make sure that they're enjoying themselves just as much as you are. And those are the four most important reasons that a motorcyclist will rev their engine at a stop. So the next time you're pulled up next to a biker and you look over and they're just hammering away at that fucking throttle, you know, you know, you see them, you hear them, you know that they're already stopped. So you know that they're just doing it so that they know that their bike is enjoying the ride just as much as they are. So if you ever see this happen again, I want you to lean out your fucking window, roll it down first, don't smash the window, god damn, you're a fucking moron. Roll down the window, lean out of it and go, yeah, boy, get some! <laughs> don't fucking do that. That's a joke. Don't fucking do that. That's all I got for you guys today. This is Chip Hardbody. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you didn't, you know what you can do. Go fuck yourself!